Florida Senator Marco Rubio now calling for disciplinary action against the commanders in charge of last year's deadly ambush in Africa that killed four U.S. soldiers, including one from here in South Florida. A congresswoman who has been critical for months also responding tonight. CBS 4's Hank Tester just spoke with her. He joins us live from the newsroom with more. Hank. Well, good evening, Rick. The uh, Special Forces unit that was ambushed was not properly trained, did not have sufficient weapons, and there were mixed messages on what the mission was to accomplish. October 2017, the heartbreaking images of Sergeant LaDavid Johnson's widow on the tarmac, the Miami Gardens resident grieving for her husband. His body returned from Niger, an African country where he died with three other American Special Forces soldiers. I take ownership for all the events connected to the ambush of 4 October. Again, the responsibility is mine. The Pentagon released a summary report of what happened during a firefight involving the U.S. soldiers and a much larger and better armed band of militants. The enemy achieved tactical surprise there, and our forces were outnumbered approximately three to one. Pentagon investigators found there were a series of institutional problems with the operation. They singled out two captains who mischaracterized the mission as a routine reconnaissance mission, when in fact it was a mission to seek out dangerous Islamic state leaders. Congresswoman Frederico Wilson says the Johnson family and his wife were briefed at Southcom. I love my Gold Star family. They're not satisfied. I was uh, attended a briefing with them at Southcom two weeks ago. And uh, it was so emotional. It was six hours. And they were not pleased. They were, they, they didn't receive any closure. Johnson's body wasn't found until two days after the attack, and there was speculation he was captured by enemy combatants. He ran 960 meters. He ran a long way from where he was last seen, and he made his last stand where he fought to the end under a dense thorny tree. Congresswoman Frederica Wilson told me she is still making up her mind on what kind of discipline she feels should be meted out. And for Marco Rubio, our senator, to the extent where there was command failures, I urge the DOD to consider disciplinary action. I'm Hank Tuster, CBS 4 News tonight.